Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to make this adorable baby chick with a line pattern design on the eggs. And I start out my students first by taking a half sheet of 9 by 11 paper. I just tear it roughly in half right there. And we go ahead and we do some horizontal patterns. And horizontal patterns are patterns that are from one edge across to the other edge. And we're going to be doing um, the longer line. We hold our paper so that the longer line is on the top and the shorter lines are on the side. Then when we paint or draw our patterns in, uh, we can have some nice long horizontal lines here. You can see here how this has some horizontal lines coming across. And you can do any kind of line pattern you like and have some fun with that. And I'll show you some examples of my students. Line pattern designs. To make the line pattern designs, what my students did was they started with some payons, or you could use water soluble chalk, you can use crayons, you can use paint. I give them a choice of what they want to use. Uh, but here's some designs here. These are wavy lines, straight lines. You can do a combination of both. I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate quickly with some paint. I'm using some tempera cakes. Here's my tempera cakes I'm using. And when I use the tempera cakes, I always teach the kids to wash and do a light kiss on the edge of the dish, just like you're gonna gently kiss a cheek, just like that, and then swirl lightly into the color. And the more you swirl into a color, I'll use this magenta here, the darker the color is, and gently stir it in. You don't wanna smash that brush like that just the tip going around a circle. Load up the brush. When you're seeing color on the brush, that means you're good to go. That means there's enough color. And I hold my brush straight up and my arm is up off the table and I'm gonna go in a horizontal direction across the page. When the brush becomes dry, you barely touch that water and go back into the same color, if that's the color you want again, and stir. You don't want huge puddles in here, otherwise it'll weaken the color. Gently stir in a circle and continue your pattern. So I'm gonna do a magenta stripe pattern first. I'll do one more time, dipping in a little bit into that brush, just the tip touches the water. So I'm gonna do a ma magenta pattern here of horizontal stripes. Now I'm gonna change out my, my color and go to another color. I'll do some orange here. And I'm gonna do another pattern next to the magenta stripes. I'm gonna do a waving line pattern. Now a pattern is shapes that repeat, so I'm gonna repeat that, or lines that repeat rather. So now I have orange, magenta, orange, magenta. Now I need my orange here to form a complete pattern. Now I'm gonna wash my brush again. And I'm gonna go into maybe a blue. Gently stir in the blue. And I'm gonna do a broken line pattern or a dotted line. This is a line that's broken and that's next to the magenta. So then I have to go next to the magenta and do a broken line pattern. Now I might not have too much room over here, just a little bit, I think I do. If you don't, it's okay. Your pattern's just off the page. And you can continue adding as much as you want to your pattern. With my students, I do my pattern paper one day, and then we cut out the chick 
the next day. I'm going to show you some examples of my students work and now I'm going to show you how we cut out our chick. What I do is I use a quarter sheet of paper. I take a 9 by 11 sheet of paper and I cut it in half and then I cut it in half again and we have a quarter sheet of paper here. So the egg is made with a half sheet of paper and this chick is one quarter sheet of paper. And I go ahead and we cut out a circle. You can draw your circle first if you'd like, if that's helpful, or you can just freehand cut it out if you'd like, or if that's easier for you. I teach my kids just to cut off the corners, big chunks off the corner. So that's almost two fingers wide, that triangle. So I'm cutting big chunks off the corner. And if you cut it off on all sides, you'll end up with an oval, which is okay. That's what I have here. That way I have some area to get glued on the back. And then I just round this. So I just curve it. I'm like cutting like it's a curve, like an N curve or a U curve. If there's any points, you just trim them off. Some students prefer to draw, so if you want to draw your circle first, and then just curve this right around. Anywhere where you have little bumps, if it's not smooth, you want to make sure it's smooth. And double check your work. And then what I do is, once this is dry, we go ahead and we cut a U. Decide what you want the top to be, if you want this to the top, or if this your top. And if you look here, the back, that's where we have our name, is a giant U curve. So if you want to draw the U first, you can. So I'm going to start off at this edge. I'm just going to use a light color here. And I'm going to come down, and I'm bringing my curve right to the middle center. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So start at the top edge, this is to the right, go down and curve right to the middle, right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So we cut that curve, and we're cutting this curve right here. Simple U curve. Now what we do is we only put a little bit of glue on the back here for the chick. I want this to be on the back, so I want my chick to be down, so he's in the egg. Some of my kids made two circles out of this and made two babies. So I'm gonna put a small dot of glue. Look at that. If you compare it to a pinky fingernail, it's really small. Let's compare it to the bottom of the back of a pencil. It's smaller than the back of a pencil. And I'm gonna rub that in. That's real important, just on the edge of this oval or circle for your chick. Rub it in, see it's tacky. You want it to be tacky, otherwise it'll stick. And I'm gonna stick it just like that. And you can put it anywhere you want here. I'm gonna tip it a little bit this way. So this is now my, let me clear my desk here. There's my baby chick. And now the fun part, we can decorate this. So you can cut out little circles right here for the eyes. We use just eyeball stickers, which I absolutely love. I get those from uh, art supply catalogs like NASCO, I think that's the name of it. Dick Blick has a catalog, has a, I think they have these eyeball stickers, they come in rolls. Uh, a rolls of these stickers. So you can either cut the, these out of white paper, you can draw your own circles and eyeballs in here with the markers or sharpies. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this so you don't just sit there and watch me make it. I'm gonna stick my eyeballs in. Of course, you can put them any way you want. They can be close together, uh, looking up and down. And now with a piece of scrap paper, I'm gonna cut out a beak. I'm gonna do a big triangle, so I'm gonna look at the edge here and I'm gonna find, make that a little bit straighter here. 
I'm going to find the corner of the piece of paper. And this is one way to make a beak. And I'm just going to bring my scissors so that it looks like a triangle. Can you see the triangle there? I'm angling my scissors so that it forms three sides. Here's one side, two sides, three sides of the triangle. So I'm just going to slice right down there. So that's one way of making a beak. I can glue that on. This beak, look at this. I folded it in half so it kind of pops up, which is a cute way. Let me show you on the side, which is a real cute way to do that. To make one that pops up, if you cut a square or rectangle, basically a square is better. Try and do as close as you can to a square. There you go. If you cut a square out, and then if I fold my square, look at that, see that? And I'm gonna take the top, see the point is at the top, and I'm gonna take the point from the top and fold it down. Let me bring it up closer so you can see. That way my mouth can open up. It can open and close. Let's make sure you can see that. And if it's unevened a little bit, because mine was uneven, because it was more of a funny shape square, you can just trim it down. And this needs, because this is so small, a really small dot of glue, just like that. Rub it in, make it tacky. Now I'm not gluing on all sides because I want this side to pop up. And you can put them, now look at the look. If I have them down here, he's gonna look one way. Experiment with where you want him first. How is he looking there? We're way up. It looks kind of cute that way. I'm gonna do them a, a little bit in between. You know, look at it, do you like it crooked? Nah, so you decide how you like it. I'm gonna put it right here. And then he's going, mama, mama. He's tweet, tweet for his mama. You could even bend it in the middle a little bit. Give it a little, there. Mama, tweet, tweet, tweet. Now, for fun, if you have any feathers, we always have feathers in my room, I'm gonna stick a real small dot of glue and make it really tacky. Rub it in. This is how the glue sticks better. Can you see? Let's see if I can show you that. You have a small amount of glue there. I'm gonna rub, stick it in, and press good on the back. Make sure your fingers aren't sticky, it'll stick to it and then flip it over, and there you have, let's lift it up so you can see better, and there you have your baby chick. Now, you can add anything else you'd like to it. You know, maybe you want some little, with the scraps, if you have any of these scraps left over, you can put on some little arms, flapping. But it's up to you how you wanna decorate your baby chick jumping out of a beautiful patterned Easter egg. Let me know in the comments how you like it. Have fun.